Hi guys, Adam from After Audio here. Today I'm making a video on side chaining kicks and 808s. This video came about as an Instagrammer um, DM'd me and I asked, we were talking about tips and tricks and stuff, and he asked me to make this tutorial as he didn't know. So that's what I'm now doing. It's a perfect time to plug my Instagram. So if you aren't already following After Audio on Instagram, go do that. And whilst you're at it, just hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. So, without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight into it. So, this project here is one I made a few months ago. It was like a throwaway project, but it's, it's kind of handy for this uh, tutorial. It's the first one that I found, to be honest. Um, take a short lesson. I mean, it's not the best, but you know, it's alright. Most importantly, you can hear there's quite a punchy kick and an 8 to 8. They're alright. It'll do for this tutorial. Now, just quickly, there's three main ways I use side chaining. The first one is just whack at Nicky Romero's uh, Kickstarter on it. Where are you at? Here we go. Just throw that on. Obviously, that isn't good for uh, kind of like trap songs, as this only works on on beat type stuff. Like EDM, it's for EDM music. That's why it's Nicky Romero's because he's the master of EDM. Anyway, he isn't, but uh, whatever. So that's the first one that I do. Second one is what's happening here. Volume fader automation, whatever it is. Automization, automization. That sounds wrong. I think I've said it too much as this is like the third or fourth take. Anyway, this is what's happening in this project at the moment. So I'll just show you quickly. So every time the kick plays, the 808 just dips. Side chaining. Done. Done. So in this project, how I and how I like to do it when I'm doing this, so I have the 808 and a kick. I send them both to separate send channels. So this 808 get so this 808 gets sent to track two, which is send, and then track three, which is the kick, gets sent to track four. First step on the kick send track. Add a fruity peak controller. It'll be on the controller, probably on your stock thing. This is a custom one, so I've got controller fruity. Peak controller, lovely job. Open it up. You want to type in type in value 0 0.2, which is 20%. That makes it so uh is 0 dB. Basically, the fader is 0 dB. Also, just pump up the tension a little bit, possibly volume. Who who knows? Uh it's just easier to hear uh when you do that. Uh but you'll be coming back to this anyway, so it's not too important. So once that's done go to the 808 send literally right click on the volume fader link to controller then on the internal controller select the middle one which it will be peak uh, so peak control peak under mapping formula click on the drop down menu select inverted and then accept this remove conflicts that's only important if you're using say multiple uh, so I'll give an example say you want the kick to side chain with a piano as well as an 808 for some reason then you'd want to untick that that's not an issue for the for today so accept bam done that is side chaining so as you can hear that's obviously side chaining now obviously you can did i just say obviously i, I don't even know anymore i'm tired anyway so yeah so that's side chaining now you can change it in here to mess it around i'll just quickly do it for you I just made the rookie mistake of changing the bass. You never really want to touch that. Uh, just always leave it at 0.2. Got a bit carried away at turning some knobs. Anyway, so that's volume automation done. Next up is EQ automation. Automization? Automization? I've said it too many times today. Anyway, 8 to 8. You don't, for this, you don't actually need to send. Uh, I'll just leave it. So I'll just imagine track 2 is just the only track. Uh, Got a lovely EQ here, uh, pre-done pre for you, uh, so I'll just actually unpre-do it, if, good English mate, make it a bit larger as well, so EQ on the 808, so low shelf, increase it to around 200, 250, around that range, 
doesn't really matter you'll be probably changing it later uh on this here on this little volume slider fader bring it down so you can just see the curve i normally like uh quite a tight curve so just change it up here like drag down it with your mouse um just to get a tight curve uh, a q i think it is the technical name um then yeah just reset that so it's 50 percent Let's add another peak controller. Let's mute this one. That's the old one. Don't worry about that. Ignore that. You won't be having to. So add a new one. Base type in value 0 0.5 to match 0 dB. Then tension. Bring it up. Uh, that's what I like to do. But anyway, yeah. I just mentioned that before. Then go back to the EQ. Select on the correct um, fader link to controller now it's, it should be the bottom one it's a bit of a gamble when you have multiple i always think that if it's the most recent one that you've added it will be at the bottom so just a little tip for you there so yeah peak control peak input inverted done so now it should uh, did i mute the other one yes i did so this is great if you've got a bit more a lively 808 with more mid-range tones instead of just subtones but yeah i prefer doing this more often nowadays so yeah so this is a rough sweet spot to start at obviously you can move it around to find the ideal place I'll probably choose somewhere up like that um i did over exaggerate it so you can hear what it's doing but yeah that that's as simple as that really when you get used to it you can do that in like 30 seconds no problem at all um and it's precise it's great that's what i'm doing all of the time now just using eqs or if i'm lazy just kickstarter um i don't really tend to do this volume stuff anymore precision is key i like to say but anyway that's it for this video it's kind of like short sweet but kind of dragged on a bit um i'd appreciate your feedback below so do comment whilst you subscribe as well and then after that you go and click the link to my instagram and then follow that that would be great to be fair it's actually half decent content on there i won't lie it's great little tips but yeah that's it no more sell out sell out it's not even sell out promoting plug in anyway that's it peace